Good day everyone, Garage King here, and today I'm going to review the Daily Lab air fresheners for your car. Just how good are they? That is going to be the question. So we're going to take a little bit of a deep dive. Now, if you have an older car that maybe doesn't smell the best, they will work just fine. You can pretty much go in any car you want. Now, in terms of build quality, I must say the build quality is fantastic. They are actually built very, very well and probably will last you a lifetime. Let's have a closer look. So here we can see this color. Now, I hope the camera is going to pick it up uh, well. This one, actually, I really like. It's got some cool colors in it. And there is actually a third right here that is white. And if you have a white Tesla, that would match your car just perfectly. So let's take a closer look at the construction. As you can see, I have it out of the box here. There is a nice protective layer there, so you won't get any scratches. Now, how does this thing come apart? Well, I learned very quickly, it is just two magnets. Now, it is the creme de la creme, definitely the Rolls Royce of air fresheners, that's for sure. Uh, and don't forget to take off this back piece or back piece of plastic there, or the scent, I guess, could technically be trapped in. And actually, I must say, I am shocked at just how well it's machined. There is no flaws in it whatsoever. So it's very well built. And the one thing I wanted to say too is the date. They're pretty fresh. Like this was May 5th, 2023. And if you take a little look at my watch here, there you go. You can see it's the 18th. So these things were only a couple weeks old when I got them. Now, here's the actual sense for the Tesla model of air freshener. And you can see how they're packaged in there and they're actually stamped daily labs on them. And I must say they were sealed very, very well because it took a little bit to open them up, but that's a good thing because you definitely don't want them exposed to air before you're going to use them yourself. So you can see right here, it pops right in there nice and simple, and then you'll just put the magnetic cover on it. That is it. But before we get to the vehicles, I wanna show you one other one that they have. This is a different model. So I guess it's this one actually goes in the Tesla as well, but I would consider it a universal model because you can just hang this one from your rear view mirror. So it's that easy. So it's kind of like a universal model. Anyway, this is the grapefruit jar scent, and I must say it smelled great. So take a look at this. This is why I think these are the universal ones because they come with a nice lanyard. So you can really hang them on the rear view mirror of any car. And if you see in the background, those ones are gold and these ones are like a titanium color. I actually really prefer these ones, but they'll go in any car and look at the machining. It's absolutely fantastic. It is truly jewelry grade luxury fragrance. All right, so let's load these ones up and let's put it in the car. So there you can see, you just pop it together just like so. Magnetic cap pops right on. And you know what? It says it fits in over 98% of the car vehicles, but you know what? With this, I think it fits in 100. Who can't hang it from your rear view mirror? So anyway, it is time to go into the Tesla and check it out in the Tesla. All right, so let's hop in our Tesla. This is a Model Y that I'm in right now. So you can see here, I'm just gonna install it and it's really easy. All you do is you just put it in the groove just like so. And actually, if you caught that, that was upside down. I'll just fix that up very quickly. And now you can see, I think it looks just great. And as you slide it to the end, you can adjust how it sits in the vent area, but it's not gonna fall off. Like no matter where you put it, it's just not gonna fall off. And there is the other style you can see there. It fits in the vent just like so. I think the I think it looks really good, I must say. Now in terms of is it gonna fly out when I accelerate? Look at my speedometer there. You can see, no, it just didn't move at all. So impressive on that end. Now here I did get a sample of a number of fragrances uh, that I was able to smell. And you know what? I actually liked uh, a bunch of them. So I really did think that they were pretty good. But instead of you know going over those, you can barely see the words, I figured it's better to just go on their website and you can see they have a fruity and floral collection and there is a bunch of different scents uh, that you can get. I'll just scroll through them. There's citrus and tea, champagne rose, amber and pink pepper, grapefruit, white peach, Olong, if I'm saying it right. And they have a woody and earth collection and you can see there it is. Uh, there's a cedar scent here, one from 1979. There is a sandalwood. And this one in particular, this asphalt, it actually smelled really good. I was pleasantly surprised. So there are a number of scents you could choose from. And when I scrolled through their website, you know what, there was a lot of positive reviews. So I definitely give it thumbs up. It, this product is definitely the Rolls Royce of car air fresheners. So two thumbs up from me.